This is what you save your lunch money for, your field to the green at the Larry Rice Classic. Field going to dash off into turns one and two. Who's going to have the advantage on the inside? It will be Brain and Fox. Oh, look out. Red light's going to come on. We have got one over on the back straightaway. We're set to go back to green here in the Larry Rice Classic. Here we go. Field going to race off into turns one and two. Once again, Fox going to roll out to the lead. He's going to pounce on it here as they work onto the back straightaway. See if he can lead lap number one. Lou is working up to the high side of the speedway, down to the inside. The Amicus Racing 57 already going to work. Logan Seavey up to second, looking for the lead, finds the cushion on the exit of turn number two. The car launches onto the back straightaway. Fox finding grip about the same time. Up on the high side, here he comes, looking for the race lead. He's got it. It will be Logan Seavey up to the top spot in 57. Seavey looking for win at number five on the season. Twice a winner this year earlier during the Chili Bowl Nationals, powered by NOS Energy, got his prelim night that backed up his Chili Bowl championship. Traffic starting to come into view for your leader, and they are three wide at the back of the pack. Check this out. Stocking going to let Crumb know he's there in that 26. Now, oh, look out. Right side's over left, and that's not good. Stocking going to roll to a stop over in turn number two. Caution lights come on. It's into the non-wing sprint car ranks and able to kind of muscle his way up through the field as we go back to green. 22 laps remain, and we've got one up off of the racetrack over in turns one and two. Doug Hutton with a rake, and unfortunately couldn't quite catch one. Bring it back on. And I believe that was Ricky Lewis. No, it wasn't. It was a 44. Going off the top of the racetrack, that was instant. Up break, get a good run, and one unfortunately just overstepped it a little bit. Is up front, battle for that second spot. Fox, Lewis, gonna go at it. You got Cottle in that mix as well. Cottle watching, working that inside line. They're side by side for the second spot in the front straightaway. Brayton Fox by about a half a car holds on to it. Ricky Lewis, top shelf running right now with the 41, gonna take it over as they work up to the back straightaway. Did that last time around. Fox is able to get back to his inside. This time it's going to be in the CM Valley Transportation 41 trucking up into the runner-up spot. Atlantia now drops to the inside. Everybody up to the high side of one and two. Look out. Hanson caught the right rear of the cushion, about shot him off of the racetrack and did a little bit there. Brings it back on. We avoid the caution. Ten laps remaining. 3.160 seconds to the good and a gaggle of lap cars between himself and the rest of the field. Logan Seavey trying to make a statement here tonight. Works up to the cushion. Oh, hard into the cushion. Had to kind of woe it up as he was coming up quick on a lap car. Nobody close enough to capitalize, but that thing just went right, went left, and somehow he held on to it. We have five to go. We've got four to go now. Well, we've got one around over at the exit of turn number four. Caution light's going to come on. 11th in this event one year ago. Field off of turn number four. We go back to green. Here we go. Three wide for the top spot. Right through the middle. He holds on to it, though, but the caution is out. Ooh, man. Again, the NOS Energy start can as a starting point for these drivers. Back to green. Once again, they're going to break top to bottom here. CV that time slide it up, protects all the way from bottom to top here. Here comes the 21 AZ with a slide for second. He's got it. Firstly, up into second, trying to put on the biggest charge of the season. Off into turn 22 for the final time. The Atticus racing for 57, bringing the spare car down. And the first night on track, it's going to report to victory lane, a $5,000 score to Logan Seedy here in the Larry Rice Classic. Belt's unhooked. He's going to start to crawl out of that car. Race fans, give him a hand. Logan Seedy, your winner of the Larry Rice Classic. The confetti will fly. They'll make out the check. And hugs all around. Got the old frolic bar on the helmet, taking them to victory lane here tonight. So he's going to work on getting the helmet off here, and we're going to send it down to victory lane. 
Man, what a cool one for Logan Savy to pick up the Larry Rice Classic. As we know, the connection that he has to the Rice family driving that Rice Motorsports Abacus Racing Silver Crown car won the championship for them just last year in that series and now putting the sprint car, the 57, in victory lane for the Larry Rice Classic. Logan, what an incredible connection to be able to pull this off for the Rice family. A little bit more special for you to be able to do it than to, for maybe anybody else in the field. Yeah, this is awesome. You know, I've been uh, running this race for a handful of years now and um, yeah, the the uh, friendship and um, really more like a family uh, Robbie's become uh, to me and uh, to give me a shot in the Silver Crown and uh, man, he's done so much for me over the last few years, just uh, keeping me out here and, and giving me a place to live at times, and uh, just such a great guy, and uh, has been such a huge part of my uh, career over the last few years, and man, yeah, this is, this is really cool, you know, I know uh, this race is for his dad, and uh, he meant a lot to the whole sport of, of USAC racing, and uh, man, I'm just happy to get a win here. I always love coming to Bloomington, and uh, I never can quite win here, but man, this thing was so good today. I, I kind of got lost here at the end. I was so good on in the middle and the bottom in traffic. I didn't really know where to go and it's hard to gauge off of traffic at times, but uh, man, yeah, I just didn't really know where to go there in that last restart. I feel like I've, I've been leading a few of these late and, and give them away and um, man, that, there we got a, we got a caution again and I just finally committed to the top and, and got pounded in a little bit and kind of got away. But like I said, this car is so good everywhere that it made me, uh, it made it hard to make a decision. You, you touched on it there a little bit. The racetrack was totally different on lap 26 than it was on lap one, completely different. But the top and the bottom looked like they were both a little bit slick right on the extreme sides of those. Were they pretty much the same? Yeah, you know, since they uh, took a little banking out, it's really hard to get off the corners on the top of two and four. It kind of shoves you off the front stretch, and it just makes it really tricky, which I don't know if is necessarily a bad thing. Like I said, the, the harder these tracks are, the more fun it is as a, as a racer, and you can try to figure out different things. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's really tricky to get off the top, and, like I said, I, I was kind of starting to give up on it there in, in, in traffic, and I felt so good to the middle to the bottom that I didn't really want to uh, move around after that. And, and them guys forced me to there on that first restart, and I, like I said, I kind of uh, decided just to go for it and get back up where I was good and um, you know, try, to, try to get away. So uh, the last thing you want to do is get racing with these guys. They're, they're so good. They'll, they'll put you away quick. So, um, yeah, just so happy for this team and everything they do for me, uh, all of our partners, CGCPAs, Indy Custom Stone, uh, Dozers Not in Bolts, MB, MPV Express, Rockwell Security, uh, High Performance Lubricant, CSI Shocks, Stanton Racing Engines, DRC, DRC Chassis. We've got so many guys that make this thing go fast and it takes every piece of the puzzle to, to sit here in victory lane. Well, Logan Seavey, we've talked about it a number of times, how good and consistent of a season he's had so far. He puts his third win in the books for the 2024 Amsoil USAC National Sprint Car Season.